Hello and welcome to Piedmont, South Carolina. Once again, after the game Saturday against the Patriots, we follow up on a Tuesday and have the top of 3A once again, the Canes and the Bears from Belton Honey a Path, who have the one loss in region play. And the Canes trying to sneak back in at the two seed. If they can win two of these against the Bears, we take a look at the region standings as David Thompson joins us. Want to thank our sponsors, 84 Lumber, for the pregame show. Austin Tripp beside me on the ones and twos, Ethan Mayfield on the camera. And of course, and as always, David Thompson on color. And David, you look at these new standings after that lost Saturday, and you're kind of just want to keep your head above water at the three spot. Yeah, it's mumble jumbled up, but uh, a lot of things could happen this week. You uh, you get a sweep here, you set yourself up in a good location or a good situation. Uh, you need to have at least one here, but uh, of course you're not settling for one, you're looking for two. Uh, Fountain Inn, uh, Palmetto's playing Powdersville this weekend, so that'll, that'll give us a lot of uh, insight of where Palmetto's going to end up falling, so we'll see where it happens, and uh, Man, I'm out of breath. <laughs> yeah, talking about Palmetto, they've really shuffled things up, not just where they are. They sit at 2-4. and four. They control their path as well to get into the uh, aftermath in the season. Uh, but they took down BHP, and that is the Bears' only region loss. Still with Pattersville set to go. Uh, for the Bears, they'll start off with Michael Babb. And for the Canes, we haven't seen him in a while. Big number one six, Jacob Allen. Toes the rubber for the Canes. David, a nice outing against the Patriots on the road last time out. Sure did, and uh, hope we can get that same thing tonight out of him as uh, – oh, boy. Anyway, um, need a good outing from him. He starts Bab off with strike one. Bab lifts one into right. Right fielder for the Canes trailing – Backwards, and he'll make the play for out number one. Two pitches, one out for 16. Let's set the field for the Hurricanes. Max Whitfield will be in left field, and center field will be Mr. Jowers. And right field is Colin McCaffrey. Over at third is Bolton Pritchard. Shortstop, Grayson Austin. The second base will be Ben Smith. First base is Cooper. What was wrong with that? I <laughs> guess a little bit outside. Blaine Jennings is in the box. And behind the plate, sorry, behind the plate, Connor Johnson. Comes back to even up 1-1. One one. Talked about that Bears one loss. They've played pretty much everyone in the region except the Patriots and the Canes. As Allen gets a swing through on strike two. His first real opportunity to found her strikeout here today. Delivery from 16 goes way inside, evens up 2-2. Two, two. Wow, that was – boy, that was close to the <laughs> 2-2 <laughs> two, two count with one out. Kings rocking the whites with a gold and coating of words and numbers. Off speed goes high, first full count here today. Talked about this start on the road at Pattersville. He kept the Canes in it pretty much through six. Looking for a K here. Gets it. Founder strikeout number one for 16 and out number two for the Canes. Pitcher Lane Magaha. Lane Magaha, name if you watch these broadcasts you remember a year ago. Big time bat in this Bears order. And he lifts pitch number one up and to the right into the grass. And the right fielder will come on and make two of the three plays. And Kyle McCaffrey will be right back at you in the bottom half of the first here at home. I'm your overly competitive brother. Check. Psych. <laughs> and I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? You got no game. Dude, that's a foul. And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> And if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Real mature. When you're ready to own it, our mortgage experts make it happen. I was done with renting. 
Founders, they made my first mortgage easy. We needed mortgage experts. <laughs> and more space. More space? We were there once. I didn't even know what PMI was. We knew. At Founders, they never charge PMI. Never. When it comes to your mortgage, Founders is more equipped than ever, and you'll never see PMI. From first-time buyers to seasoned homeowners, it's nice to work with a lender you can trust. So you can relax. Thank you to our team physicians and athletic trainers for the excellent sports medicine care they provide to our school and community. St. Francis Sports Medicine and Bon Secours Piedmont Orthopedics. Together, we keep you moving. Back here at home, man on the mound for the Canes is the aforementioned Lane Magaha. And the lineup for the Canes is this. Started off with Cam Jowers, who's hot at the plate. Grayson Austin in the two spot. Ben Smith stands in the three hole. Cooper Sanders clean up. Jacob Allen, Colin McCaffrey, Connor Johnson, Bolton Pritchard, and Max Whitfield round us out for the Canes. And Eight swinging a hot bat, David. Would be nice to get a authorized heating and air base knock to start us off. Yeah, some way, somehow, whether it's walk, base hit, find a way on, and uh, see if you can't get the first answer here in this big time region matchup. My guy, one of the big time arm, arms the Bears have. He starts Jowers off with a strike. Of course, after seeing what we saw last Tuesday night, nothing that's going to overpower the Hurricanes, I don't think, compared to what we've seen with 95 last Tuesday. <laughs> Throws the ball hard, though. He's got Jowers in a 1-1. Taking his time in pits number three. He'll come inside. Jowers will ground it foul to make it 1-2. and two. Gianni gave that zero effort. <laughs> like he just olayed it, didn't. Jowers had some juice behind it. One, two, Magaha with the opportunity for a K. And Jowers bloops that into left field for out number one. Just walks us into the shortstop and Grayson Austin. who feels extremely due for a big knock here. Yeah, need him to have a big night tonight. It's time for the lineups. Had some really nice at-bats. Austin's been putting some bunting situations of late. He'll lay down one towards the pitcher left side and not beat it out for out number two. We talk about wanting a base runner. Randy comes out here in the first looking for one. Ben Smith will get a chance with two outs. Magaha gets a low strike one. Smith's been big. Part of this team come region play, especially with his bat. Gets started off one and one. Bears come in as defending 3A region champs in region two as Smith fouls that one back to make it one and two. Of course, the Bears only trail the Patriots right now who are undefeated in region play. So a lot on the table on these two ball games this week. Smith grounds that one to the third baseman. Fire over in time. Magaha goes one, two, three, and we'll head 
to inning number two and P. Here at home, achy breaky heart behind us. The Bears will get it started with AJ or RJ Burnett in the four hole. Maddox Vipperman stands behind him. What are we doing, man? We have started music What's on the that? soundboard. We're trying to turn it down. I think I got it off now. I don't, and then we come back to a pitch I don't know where I missed at. All one nonetheless. That one's ripped into left center. Center fielder and left fielder trailing back towards the gap, and the center fielder makes the play. I think that's Camden Jowers today for yes. out number one. Nice play there by the Hurricanes. Blake, it would um, would be remiss today, and I don't know that you've heard the news, but uh, former football coach Mickey Moss passed away today. And uh, so our prayers go out to his family and uh, uh, his two sons and grandchildren. And uh, Mickey, Mickey thought a lot of Wren and uh, did some really good things here. And so the, the the best thing he did was give me my first coaching job. So uh, my heart goes out to that family. Well, definitely we remember him today as the Kings trying to get a big-time win here at home. Maddox Vipperman in the box for the Bears. And he looks out of strike to make it one and one. And David here early, it's it's quick outs, but hard outs, loud outs, you would say. As you see strike two. Yeah, we got them popping up. <laughs> yeah. Just some of them popped a little further than others. And the one two, Allen can get a K. Instead, it's grounded towards the second baseman. Smith lays out for it, but it gets past him. And hit number one belongs to the Bears. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure that's where they wanted that pitch. I think they wanted it up. He didn't quite get it there. Just walks us in to Talon Liberta with the runner on. Ground ball can make this inning seem a lot quicker. 16 comes set, comes inside. It's going to head towards the right fielder. Coming on, makes the catch. And no throw to first, but two quick outs here in the second for 16. And Colin McCaffrey's getting his workout today. Yeah, he's doing a little bit of everything over there. Justin Baker. I just don't recognize a whole lot of these names from last year, just to be honest. That's why I was big emphasis on Magaha being on the mound today. Feels like would be one of the leaders on the BHP Bears baseball squad this season. Mm-hmm. Very vital part last year in a big-time team the Bears had. Allen after the pickoff. Looking for strike one. 
And the jump at first base gets him to pick over again. Beautiful day for baseball here with two outs. The Bears going to try to steal a bag. Comes a little too inside, and Johnson can't handle it. It's a 1 0, two outs, runner in scoring position. Allen starting to work towards the bottom of the Bears lineup. Baker sitting in the seven hole today. Ground ball up the middle. Austin fades to his left, throw over in time, and he just makes it look easy. Out number three as we head to the bottom half of the second here at home. What would tomorrow look like if you sold your house today? Maybe you'd move to a new city or a new country. Maybe you'd pick up birding or birdies. You could get into wine, not that into wine, or skiing, warmer skiing. Or maybe you'd spend more time doing nothing at all. When you're ready for whatever comes next, we'll be ready to help you get there. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Thank you to Consolidated Pipe and Supply for sponsoring the Wren Broadcast Network. For all your piping supplies, business or residential, we do it all. Just give us a call. Consolidated Pipe and Supply, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday, 864-964-9370, 1727 Whitehorse Road. Back to work here at home. Cooper Sanders, Jacob Allen, and Colin McCaffrey do up for the Canes versus Magaha here in the second. Another righty on righty look for 2 4. Canes still looking for their first knock of the ball game for two and then late. Pitchers duel so far. The Bears have one hit through two. And that outside corner is working again here today for strike one. Off speed from Sanders, slaps the shortstop, plays it off the bounce, throw over in time. He got jammed on that one. And he did. Walks us in. To a big time bat in the middle of the order. Going to need to be big time on the mound today, but could help himself here in the batter's box. And Jacob Allen. Pitcher Jacob Allen. Another righty look for Magaha. He goes fastball. Outside strike one. Noticing as well the Canes as Allen slaps one in the center. Center fielder failing backwards. It's going to bounce high up against the wall. And Allen's digging out of the box looking for two. Throw not in time. 16 has a one-out double for the Canes. An authorized heating there. Base knock number one. That ball almost went out. I was thinking as soon as the center fielder started running backwards, he felt it too. It lands halfway up the fence. But a big time chance here for Colin McCaffrey, who's been nice in the batter's box of late. Not real sure why we're not running for him at second. Yeah, pitcher. McCaffrey swings through strike one. Johnson. Feels like one of the first lefties up in the on deck circle. 0-1, oh, 24 versus 5 here with one out. Ground ball to the shortstop. Going to get past the third baseman. Shortstop on his back hip is not going to get McCaffrey. He turns on the wheels. 
And back-to-back -back knocks for the Canes. Authorized hitting air, not having him having a nice inning here. With two hits, Connor Johnson for Minchin. Steps in. Especially with guys like Kirby and Stevens. I don't know. Goes high for ball one. Definitely a decision that usually doesn't happen. One oh bottom second. One out here, Kane's threatening. Off speed in for strike one. One one, one out, Kane's with two on the pond. Here on the bottom half, first damage for Magaha thus far. Johnson goes one and two. Colton Pritchard would be the next man in line for the Canes. Come on, Connor. Get this first one. One, two, one out. Righty on lefty for the Canes. Goes low. Johnson reaches at it. The Canes will move up the runners with two outs. And Bolton Pritchard do up. So a big moment here early, David. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, really messing with you that Allen is not getting a runner for. No, him. I, I, no, I wasn't gonna say that. It is shot. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just. And Pritchard laces one into the hole. That'll score one. The Canes will hold, hold McCaffrey at third base and. Bolton Pritchard with the first RBI of the day. And hit number three for the Canes. Yeah, that's a good job of hitting there by Bolton. What I was saying is Connor, Connor's been taking some good at-bats, and the and, uh, ball was, was well out of the zone. That's just, you know, Connor usually has some a little better approach there. And I'm not saying he had a bad approach. It's just it's unusual for him to swing a ball in the dirt like that. These bats on the bottom of the Canes order have been effective of late. Whitfield will watch ball one. But we talk about guys like Bolden Pritchard who. That was a huge hit right there. Beginning of the season had a very pivotal role. Big time knock here in a big region game. 1-0 delivery. Gets that outside strike to make it 1-1. One and one. Pritchard off of first, McCaffrey off of third. Pick over, not in time. Chance for the Canes to add a little more here in the second. Another pickoff move, not in time for Pritchard. Top of the lineup as well, do up after Whitfield. Magaha comes sent, goes out, speed for strike two. Come on, another two out hit here, Max. Battle up there. Two out hit, could bring in at least one. Off speed, Whitfield stays alive. If you're tuning in as a Bear fan, chance for Magaha to Really limit the damage here at one. Two outs. Of course, would like to see Whitfield put one in a hole. With a really hot bat on deck. Pritchard catches everyone sleeping maybe. No throw to second. McCaffrey gets back at third and Pritchard safe at second so the Canes do a job. Yeah, that's just an early break. Trying to draw the ball to second, which they did, but they played it well. So now you got second, third. Boy, now big hit. Ooh. Yeah, something into the outfield could easily score two. One two count from Magaha. Goes low. Whitfield doesn't bite. Two two. 
Big time take from four. Canes on second and third. Two out delivery. And Whitfield stays alive, sends one foul. A lot of twos on the board. Hmm. Bottom two, two on, two, two, two outs. Four in the box looking for a hit. He stays alive again. Coach Thompson was talking about it with us earlier, trying to get some more runs on the good guys' side today. Big time chance here. 2-2, Two -two, Whitfield slaps it towards the soccer field. At this point, looking for a pitch counter on 24 in this at-bat. 2-2 delivery here again. Four looking to win a battle. He slaps one in the left. Left fielder failing backwards. It's off the wall. That'll score two. Max Whitfield looking for second base. A two-out double. Scores two from Max Whitfield. Three-nothing Canes. Wow. What a, what a, what a bat. I mean, just battle, get down. Two strikes, keep battling, and uh, hit one off the fence. Goodness gracious. Great A-B there by Max Whitfield. Drives in two. Now you got the top of the order coming in as uh, here we go with Mr. Jowers coming up to the plate. Softball team tied at seven with the Patriots over there, I think, on the road today. As you mentioned, Jowers steps into the box after a big-time knock from four. Kane's trying to jump on the Bears here early. We've also talked about how this, these pitchers have pitched well all region play. A little run support could get them juiced up. You know, 16 is going to like three on the board for him when he comes back out. Eight still looking for more. Two O delivery from Magaha. Goes low. Jowers doesn't offer at it. The Canes will take third. Also a 3-0 count. Boy, they're just playing right now. They're playing solid baseball. Hurricanes are. <clears throat> good read there by Max. And again, got a guy right here 90 feet away. We a good opportunity right here. Caleb Jowers put somebody in play. Camden Jowers, goodness gracious. 3-0. Jowers watches a strike. Definitely had the stop sign on there. 3-1. Been able to attack Magaha's fastball here early. Throws the off speed and walks him in on the corners with two outs. And a big moment here for Grayson Austin. Yeah, Magaha up to 34 pitches. Here, here comes, comes. Yeah, there we go. Say it, say it together. <laughs> a chat. And David, I was going to say a while ago. But sometimes it takes one of those losses. It sucks ass to be to a rival like Pattersville, but to really make you dial it in the rest of the way out or mm. go on a hot streak. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> baseball is a funny game, man. It is a – again, that's why only smart people can, can play it and only smart people can enjoy it. Uh, a lot of people think it's boring, but, hey, it is a, it is a crazy game. You get – guys that get hot you get guys that are on pitching there's just so many things that go on and you know the hurricanes they're, they're not where they want to be right now but the great thing about it is they still have four region games left to go and everything but first is pretty much still in their reach yeah and the thing that you just talked about about getting hot the small the mental problems definitely more of a toll in high school baseball with younger kids of, yeah. it takes one pitch it takes one at bat for someone to get hot. Grayson Austin looking for that here. He'll lay down the bunch of the pitchers, man. A little too hard. Magaha will take out number three, but the Canes put three on the board as we head to the top of the third here at home. When you hear funny noises like that, 
Jogger, 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 jogger. <laughs> like that. It's time to call Preferred Home Services. <laughs> we'll fix that too. Contact us today to learn more about how we can help you with your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs. Thanks for calling Preferred. How can we make you smile today? Here at Cox & Cole Attorneys at Law, we've got two attorneys, Wes Cox and Lee Cole. Uh, we handle real estate matters, closings, and real estate litigation and probate, trying to bring compassion to those that we serve and our clients. Give us a call anytime. Our number is 864-847-847. Uh, 9289. Once upon a time, moving was stressful and far from a fairy tale. How are we supposed to move our house and get rid of our junk? But the big bad move was no match for college hunks hauling junk and moving. Have no fear, the hunks are here. College hunks did all the packing, moving, and unpacking for the family. They also hauled away the unwanted clutter to be properly donated and recycled. And the family moved happily ever after. Make moving and junk removal less stressful and more magical. Back here at Homeland, and Davis will get things started off for the Bears. Jacob Allen looks to add on to his one-hit performance so far. Ball one. Jacob going to be able to wrap around to the top of that order here in the third inning. Starts Davis off 2-0. Slapped in the right field, foul 2-1. A lot of balls hit back opposite field, yes. <clears throat> Kane getting the ball back in play on the right side. Gets a thumbs up from McCaffrey in right field. Allen got that big dirt stripe on the pants from the double. That pitch almost looks like it clipped Davis. 3-1 nonetheless. Chance to battle back in. Ground ball to the third baseman. Catches it in the chest. Pritchard throws over in time. 16 comes back to get out number one. Nice play there by Pritchard. That ball was hit hard. Got him a short hop there. Just didn't lose his composure. And a uh, good play there, getting across the diamond there for out number one. <clears throat> Leads us to Ky, Ty Kelly. Ty Telly. Wouldn't that be a name? <laughs> Top of the third delivery from Allen. Nice breaking ball in for strike one. I feel like I say that's about 16 and 33. When they're breaking the ball is on, they are almost unhittable. Yeah. Sorry, I'm <laughs> trying to figure out what my son's looking at. Don't know if they gave him a foul ball. It says 0-2 on the board. Yeah, it's a foul ball. Swings through that pitch. Johnson's going to have to throw over for out number two and a founder's strikeout for Allen. And two outs here in the third. Great job there by Connor, keeping the ball in front, getting that ball's in the dirt. <clears throat> Good job by blocking it up, and then uh, it kicked out almost. Well, it kicked out onto the grass, and uh, again able to make a play there. Luke Babb, the leadoff hitter for the Bears, looks at the right-hander and Jacob Allen. Fastball in for strike one. 16 working fast and efficient today. 0-1 delivery. Comes inside. Dugout liked it. 1-1. One and one. I guess that ball's inside. Comes back to the heart of the plate. 1-2. Another founder's opportunity here for Jacob. Into the windup. Delivery goes off speed away and on the plate, 2-2. Two, two. That was a pretty good pitch there. Trying to get him to reach for it. Ab in this leadoff spot trying to get a base runner on for the Bears. 16 
Throws the fastball low and it runs full. Defense in the outfield moves from right to left. Full count delivery. Goes low again off the leg of Johnson. Bab will be on with two outs. Blaine Jennings will get a chance with two outs for the Bears. It's kind of funny. <clears throat> you see it in high school all the time, but to see a pitcher have a brown pants and – where they slid, you know, you never see that in major leagues or anything or college and high school baseball. I've seen to just realize stuff happens. Pick off, did they get him? Yes, they did. Allen takes the base runner that was on and sends him back to the dugout. Kane's lead three nothing after the pickoff from 16 here at home. Are you looking for a brand new home in the Greenville, South Carolina area? With so many builders and communities, how can you be sure you will get the best deal? Realtor Glenn Klinger specializes in new home sales. Glenn is new home sales and residential construction certified and an expert in new homes in Greenville. So why take a chance on missing out on the perfect new home? Call the Klinger team today. When you hear funny noises like that, joker, 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 joker. Like that. It's time to call Preferred Home Services. Whether you've got slow drains or clog drains, take advantage of our 93 or it's free sewer drain clearing special. We'll even include a camera inspection and one year no clog guarantee. Contact us today to learn more about how we can help you with your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs. Thanks for calling Preferred. How can we make you smile today? to work here at home. The Canes lead 3-0. Ben Smith will step into the box first and face Magaha. The Canes coming off a three-run bottom half of the second. Looking to match that from the previous inning. Magaha goes fastball away for ball one. Ben Smith, Cooper Sanders, Jacob Allen do up here in the third. Fastball away again, 2-0. David talked about last inning how many pitches 24 has already. Smith gives that one a ride in the left center. Deep and loud for out number one. Next up is Cooper Sanders. On deck. Jacob Allen, who had that big-time double to score the Canes. First run, if I'm not wrong. Magaha goes away once again, 1-0. One one out delivery. Comes back over the plate, evens it up one and one. And that was a pre pretty good stroke while ago, by the way. Ben's been nice with the bat here in region play. Almost gave one a ride there. Sanders holds off two and one. Four hits, three runs so far. Gaha gets the way strike call two and two. Well, you, you said it right. That ball looked high. Softball team's taking the lead on the road over the Patriots 8 7. Do I now? Softball team is taking the lead over Powdersville on the road. I thought you said Palmetto. 
Found then beating Southside seven nothing in baseball. <laughs> surprise! 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 All speed away runs it full on Sanders. And the Canes are <laughs> having to decide if they want to bite on that outside corner. We saw Smith able to slap a couple away earlier. Sanders slaps that one into the dirt. 3-2. That got a little bit of our catcher. Everyone will get a moment to collect themselves. And a full count, one out. Scenario for the Canes. Magaha looking for out two. Sanders looking to get on base. Lined up the middle. Shortstop fades to his left. Throw over is in time for out number two. Big time batter Jacob Allen steps back in. Mm -hmm. He just does what he did a while ago. Just... Try to drive it back side. Got the Canes cooking in his last A-B. Put one in the right center. That one high, 1-0. Oh. Surprise, surprise. Hit a one off the wall and get a curveball to start off the next A-B. Tell the Canes, try to wait for that. Fastball, Magaha throws. Gaha evens it up one to one. Had that damage in the second. Looks like he's regrouping here in the third. One, two, two outs. McCaffrey on deck. Delivery. Gets out on the swing through it for out number three. As we come back, the top half of the fourth. Here at home. Oh, they're going to make Allen be tagged. Now we'll be back here in the fourth. When we come back, it'll be the fourth inning. Thanks for watching the Wren Broadcast Network. If you'd like to become a sponsor, email Austin Tripp or Stan Yarborough for more information. Life with its many stages. From the my little one has just arrived stage to the I have arrived stage. From the first home you'll ever buy to the one home you'll have forever. No matter where you find yourself in life, your forever agent will be there. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. For you, for life. Jennings gets things started for the Bears. Allen working fast. One hit through three so far. Trying to keep it the way it is. Comes in fastball, ball one. I feel like a lot of Kane's faithful have been waiting for this type of ball game as that one's into center field. Jowers can't make the play. Jennings is off for second. 
And he'll be in there safe with a leadoff mm. single. Well, this an error? Uh, that's, uh, he, uh, I don't know. I think it'll be a straight double. Which walks us into the lane. Magaha, the man on the mound today. Lane, First man scoring position for the Bears. Yeah, Camden just got a bad read on that. And that happens whenever you hit it off the back of you or the end of the bat. Way for ball one. Mr. McGaha can make this a very close game very quickly. If you notice where we're setting up here. Oh. Pitch, I guess, a little low, 2 0. Height to Magaha definitely could help him with a lot of the low calls we see. 2 0 runner on second. 3 0 now to Magaha. This might be a intentional, unintentional walk. Really haven't given him anything. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So 24 will be put on. Two on, no one out. Or four with the Bears. Barnett. Rye Barnett. Got called RJ in his first A.B. Number 13, and Colby Bates will come on and Colby run from Magaha. Big part of the game right here. Nobody out first and second. Let's see if they go with a bunt here to try to cut it, or they're going to let him swing it away. First traffic for 16 here in the fourth. Big off move, bounces into the outfield. Jowers comes on, throw in to Austin, but the Bears move, move up a runner. Now on the corners with no outs. Pop up and or strike out big here. Stay out of the big inning now. That's the key. Stay out of the big inning. Allen comes set, looking for out number one in some form or fashion. Gets him to foul it back 0-1. Two hits thus far. Couple big time K's from 16. Take off, not in time. Sixteen comes set in O one. Doesn't get the call and Bates will take second. So one one. Bears looking to cut into this lead here in the fourth. Helen looking to keep them there. Goes off speed, big pitch, one, two. Johnson will go have a chat with Allen. Yeah, I think we got mixed up on that one. Johnson finished with his talk, one, two, no outs. Well, love the strikeout here for out number one. Barnett versus Allen. 16 comes set, takes a look at third, delivers. Goes fastball, a little low, 2-2. Two, hmm. two. Not bad.
One pitch to Allen, turn two and a two-two. No one out delivery. Off speed, grounded up the middle. Austin comes on. Throw in time for out one. The Bears will score one. Stay out of the big inning. Walks us into Maddox Vipperman. The DH today for BHP. Big time game one of a two game set here in region play. Allen goes fastball. Vipperman swings through it for strike one. A 1-1 one, one out, still a man on third for the Bears. Little up, 1-1. One, one. Gaines would love to keep it here, 3-1. to 1-1, one. One, one, 16 comes set, delivers. High and away, 2-1. Vipperman, Liberta, and Baker do up for the Bears. So we creep through the middle of this lineup. Allen looking for the outside call. Gets it 2-2. 16 looking to get one step closer to limiting the damage. 2-2, two, two, one out. Man on third for the Bears. Off speed. Barely touches the end of the bat. It's funny. Coach Steve Williams, who was their former coach, who retired, and he's over here coaching them up. Big time pitch from 16. A founder's strikeout for out number two. Mm, stay out of the beginning. Walks us into Liberta. Talon, Liberta. Mm. Like as close as you're going to get. Like mm. You know me in baseball names. <laughs> righty on righty matchup once again. Looking for something to be out number three. Starts him off with a ball. BHP had a couple on the pond with no one out. Fastball uh, gets away from Johnson, and that's going to score another one. Make it 3-2 here. Should be 2-0 count. With two outs to Liberta. Ground ball to the second baseman. Smith with the backhand. Throws it over in time. For out number three, the Bears sneak back into this one. 3-2 ball game as we head to the bottom of the fourth. I would give him 15 out of 10 stars. He'll always be super satisfied with preferred. These guys rock their jobs and are consummate professionals. On time and friendly. Don't wait. Call Preferred Home Services today to schedule your Precision 21-point HVAC tune-up for just $59. Five stars, thumbs up. We absolutely recommend Preferred Home Services. Thanks for calling Preferred. How can we make you smile today? Thank you to CNM Garage Door Services for sponsoring the Wren Broadcast Network. Keep your garage door running smoothly. Garage door tune-up, springs, cables, gear kits, safety sensors, noisy rollers, and new installs. Quality work at a reasonable price. Contact CNM at 864-325-1517. That's 864-325-1517.
back here at home. Magaha remains on the rubber for the Bears. McCaffrey, Johnson, and Pritchard do up for the Canes here in the fourth. Magaha has that blue second inning as work through the Canes quickly through the others. Yeah, he's done a good job giving up four hits and three runs. Walked only one, struck out two. And that's his 50th pitch of the night. 50 through four. You know, the Bears are going to push him here in a big game one. Big time off speed pitch. Gets in there to make it one and two. My guy high looking for out one. Goes fastball away, doesn't get the call 2-2. Two, two. Caffrey looking for a leadoff knock. He slaps one in the center. Center fielder coming on for the Bears. He'll make the play for out number one. Walks us into Connor Johnson. Went down swinging his first A-B. This part of the lineup did some damage down the order for the Canes there in the second with Pritchard and Whitfield. It's Johnson starting out with strike one. O one one comes back inside, 0-2. Guy high goes high, one and two. One, two delivery from Magaha goes wide, evens it up. And two apiece with one out. Two, two delivery. Johnson grounds it. To Magaha, throw over in time for out number two. Which brings us to Bolton Pritchard, who has an RPI knock in the second. Looking to go two for two here today. Get something going with two outs. Did a lot of that damage in the second with two outs. I'll speed in for strike one. Goes to the same spot. Pounces in to make it one and one. With the field on deck for the Canes. Fastball away. Is Richard takes control 2-1. 3-2 ball game for tune in late. The Bears coming off a two-run top half of the fourth. Pritchard skies that one into the outfield. Right fielder coming on for the Bears. Three up, three down go the Canes as we head to the top half of the fifth here at home. Thank you for considering G-Force for your parking lot project. Each G-Force location is veteran owned and uses the latest and greatest Graco state-of-the-art equipment with onboard computers and laser technologies for perfect results every time. We hope you'll choose G-Force for all your pavement marking needs.
You want your day to be perfect, whether it's your wedding, prom, pageant, or homecoming. Demetra Designs understands. Voted best in the upstate, Demetra Designs is the upstate's largest full-service bridal emporium, featuring top designers for pageant, homecoming, and prom. Offering the selection of a major city retailer, from hair to makeup to photos, Demetra is committed to making all eyes turn when you enter the room. Visit our website right now. Print your instant Demetra formal wear savings coupon. Demetra Designs Bridal Emporium, Pleasantburg Drive, Greenville. Introducing My Wife. Here at home, we're moving quick here in Piedmont. McGahan Allen walking through the orders. Two little blips. Allen has his, had his last inning, gave up two. Magaha in the bottom half of the second, gave up three. Kane's looking to come back out here and have a shutout inning from 16. Ground ball up the middle. Austin feeds to his left. One pitch. And he's going to be off the bag. Sanders had to go up and get it. And there'll be one on for the Bears. We take another look at that throw from Austin. Definitely had to jump for it. Yeah. Really. Going to call him safe on the field. Well, it's going to stay one on for the Bears with no one out. Brings up number 18 and Landon Davis. Keane's looking for a ground ball here quickly in the top half of the fifth. Comes inside looking for the bunt. Popped foul, strike one. See if he sticks with it, looking to move that guy up. Bears, of course, trying to tie this bowl game here in the fifth. Bunt down to the right. Allen comes to get it. Throw over. Is in time for out one. But the Bears do a job and move their guy into scoring position. Right fielder, Ty Kelly. This is Ty Kelly. Ty Kelly. But his family loves that one. Preferred home services player of the game if the Canes win tonight with highlights on Twitter. Allen goes off speed for strike one. Three two ball game moving fast here in the fifth. Looking for a big out number two. Allen goes fast, fastball, bounds it over his head. Allen bobbles it. Austin's not going to have a play. They're going to have him on the corners with one out. Well, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Yeah. I have to see if they give that a hit to Kelly. Yeah, it's got to be a hit. Center fielder, Luke Bow. Luke Babb, the leadoff guy for the Bears, steps in with a chance to tie this thing up here in the fifth. Be nice to do the ground balls. Six, yeah. four, three. Would like something to hit in the direction of nine or six. Keep everybody updated. Powdersville's up eight to nothing on Palmetto. Palmetto, of course, stealing one of those games from the Bears. Allen comes set here with one out. Bears looking for a base. Bunt is going to tie things up as they get out number two. 
And the Bears have us looking at a whole new ball game here in the fifth inning. Two outs here for Allen, trying to sneak out of here with a tie ball game here in the fifth. Takes a look at the runner on second, comes to the plate, gets strike one. Stay out of the big inning. A one count with two outs. Pickoff rolls away from Austin. Allen already has, an, has a, a successful pickoff attempt earlier. Sixteen comes set, no one, two outs. Goes off speed, fouls it back, 0-2. Big pitch here to keep it three apiece. Allen comes set, 0-2. Delivery from 16, comes inside, almost gets him to offer at it. Do it again at a 1-2 count. Bears runner leads off second. Allen will step off. Make a good pitch here. You can feel how big of a moment this is. 1-2 delivery. Off speed slapped in the right field. Right fielder coming on for the Canes. He won't make the play. The Bears will take the lead. And they'll also have a man on third base with two outs of the Bears scored two here in the fifth inning to take the lead four to three. Haven't hit anything hard. Just hit them where they're not. And Lane Magaha steps into the box with a chance to extend it with two outs. After the Canes scored three there in the second, Bears have had back-to-back -back innings of two apiece so far. Allen starts Magaha off with a strike. Bears at five and one in the region. A one delivery. Ground ball foul. Allen ahead 0-2 with two outs. I believe as late as he was on that, he was looking breaking ball there. <clears throat> See what Allen turns to to try to get out of this one. Gaines would like to keep it out of one run ball game. Fastball away, makes it one and two. Sixteen comes set, one, two, two outs, man on third for the Bears. Off speed, a sky in the center. Jowers comes on, third out secured, but the Bears take the lead. Here on the road in Piedmont, 4-3 BHP as we make our way down the stretch. You want your day to be perfect, whether it's your wedding, prom, pageant, or home. Introducing MileWise, exclusively from Allstate. A pay-as-you-go alternative to traditional auto insurance, meaning you only pay for the miles you drive. It's that simple. Who is MileWise for? Retirees or loved ones that don't drive like they used to. People that have company cars and do not drive their car too often. Teenagers or young drivers in your household that barely drive their own car. Families that have multiple cars where one of the cars is usually sitting unused. Or 
Work from home individuals are low mileage commuters that have a short drive to work. Our agency would love to share more with you, so please give us a call today and see if MileWise is a fit for you and a loved one. Founders is committed to community involvement within our schools and student athletic programs, and it's a commitment we continue to establish, embody, and embrace for the long haul. Because at Founders Federal Credit Union, we understand how busy your day can be, and worrying about your financial matters shouldn't slow you down. So go ahead. Keep cheering your team on to another win. After all, you've got enough on your plate. Relax. You're with Founders. To work here at home, the Kings now at a deficit four to three. Max Whitfield, who had himself a big time blast earlier in this ball game, steps into the box and the top of the order follows him and Jowers and Austin. Do up here in the fifth. Same man on the mound in Lane Magaha. He's been a Bears go to guy all season. Off speed in for strike one. If you remember Whitfield's at bat earlier in this ball game, it felt like it took forever, but it paid off. He's able to put one down the left field line. So we go one one. Sun starts to set to our right. Magaha goes to the off speed, makes it one and two. Beautiful Tuesday for baseball. One, two, no outs for Magaha versus Whitfield. 24 into the windup. Gets strike three, called for out number one. It's been his go-to pitch today. Canes have hit it well early. Now Magaha kind of fingering it out. He'll face Caleb Jowers, Camden Jowers. <laughs> David's got me mixed up. Don't blame it on me, boy. <laughs> Magaha goes fastball for strike one. That one had a little movement to it back inside. Bottom fifth. Jowers looks at strike two. His 24 may have figured it out down the stretch. 0-2, one out delivery. Bounces it for ball one. One, two, one out delivery from Magaha. Goes away, doesn't get the call. Two and two as it evens up. Austin in the on deck circle. Magaha looking for out two. Jowers looking to get on base. And Magaha will win the war for out number two. Brings up Grayson Austin. He's laid down two bunts tonight. Maybe an opportunity for him to swing away here in the fifth. Two quick ones here in the fifth inning. Fastballs. Austin puts a swing out in the right field. Right fielder. Gets up under it. Three up, three down for the Canes. Bears still lead as we head to the sixth. Here at home.
Brian Barnett starts it off for the Bears. Allen back on the mound for the Canes here in the top half of the sixth inning. Bears lead 4-3. Canes looking for a quick inning here to get themselves back in the dugout. Logan Stevens has right field for the win. Foul ball makes it one and the one. Take a look at Logan Stevens, new defender in right field. That one's laced past the shortstop for a leadoff knock for Ryan Barnett. That's probably the hardest ball they've hit tonight. Yeah. That one smoked past Austin. Got four runs on the board. Again, they've just been trying to just kind of hitting them where we're not. Fifth hit of the day on four runs. Max Vipperman steps in for the Bears. For the bunt, expand the lead here. Let's see what they do. That's exactly what happens. Back to the pitcher. Toss over in time for out number one. But Vipperman does a job. Walks us right back in to town, Liberta. Like Who every time we call one of these games, it feels like someone hits a lot. 21 feels like it today. He'll step in the top half of the six with the runner in scoring position with one out. Allen takes a look at second, comes back inside, skies it to the infield. Big G will step up and take it for out number two. Hold it right here. Fielder, Justin Baker. Justin Baker. We'll take a crack at it for the Bears. PHP, of course, not trying to strand that runner at second. And Allen trying to keep it a 4-3 ball game. Allen steps off, and he'll ask for Connor to come talk. Check him up to 70 pitches. Pretty good to be in the sixth inning. I was about to say, you'd think... He can keep it at 4-3. He'll be rewarded with the seventh. If we stay right here. Righty on righty with Justin Baker. Two outs, takes a look at second. Delivery from 16, bounces. Johnson's not going to have a play on it, and the Bears will move him up. Now Baker looking for just a base knock. 102 out delivery. Goes high 2-0. Oh. Top of the sixth inning, 2-0 -oh count. For Jacob Allen. Comes inside, gets a strike call 2-1. Now the door opens to climb back in this at bat with two outs. 16 comes set, delivers. Smacked back in the center. Right to the center fielder in Camden Jowers for out number three. The Canes will head to the dugout looking to take a lead or tie this thing back up in the sixth. I would give him 15 out of 10 stars. He'll always be super satisfied with Preferred. On time and friendly. Very pleased with Preferred. Would highly recommend prompt service, technician was skilled, polite, and efficient with our plumbing issues. Five stars, thumbs up. We absolutely recommend Preferred Home Services. These guys rock their jobs and are consummate professionals. Thanks for calling Preferred. How can we make you smile today? I would give him 15 out of 10 stars. He'll always be super satisfied with preferred. These guys rock their jobs and are consummate professionals. 
on time and friendly. Keep your septic system running smoothly. For a limited time, we're offering septic tank pumping for just $399. Call Preferred Home Services today to take advantage of this offer. Five stars, thumbs up. We absolutely recommend Preferred Home Services. Home Services. Go, 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 Preferred. Ben Smith will start it off for the Canes. Cooper Sanders, Jacob Allen behind him. They will greet the man that's towed the rubber all night for the Bears in Lane Magaha. Here in the sixth. High fastball for ball one. This feels like a lineup, part of the lineup, David, that can jump on him, if any. Yeah, it's big. Bottom of the sixth. Find a way to get on somehow, some way. 2-0 quickly to nine. Fastball low, quickly 3-0 to Ben Smith. And all it takes is a base runner for this Canes group to move around. That one's high for ball four, and Smith will start us off with a walk. Brings us big 30, Cooper Sanders. I'd like to see a big swing here. Already had one from the guy in the on-deck circle and Jacob Allen. Sanders lays down a perfect bunt right in front of the pitcher. Throw overs in time, and Sanders does a job. Well, good job. Got him in scoring position. Now Jacob Allen, if he can do what he did earlier in this ball game, it definitely scores Smith from second. If you lift it up a little bit more, you take the lead here in the sixth. We just need something not right at an outfielder, yeah. make an outfielder move left to the right and uh, give Ben a chance to score. Up and away for ball one. Makaha back into some traffic for the first time in a while. 101 out delivery. Goes high to a. Nobody in the bullpen for the Bears. This is Magaha's game right now. Catcher will go have a chat. Satterfield, I think, is the man behind the plate. They will walk Jacob Allen and face Logan Stevens. So a 2 0 count. They didn't want to attack 16. That'll bring on a courtesy runner and looks like Wesley Reed. Now, I think that defensive adjustment from Last inning will have to be confirmed in the batting lineup. Not sure. Uh, oh, Evan. Correction. Evan Allen looks like he's going to walk to the box. Evan Allen is going to pitch hit for Logan. I think Smoke's going to be your courtesy runner. That he is. He's got the mitt. Looks like it's about to go on. Smith will be at second. We've seen some big at-bats from 33. We have. We have. This would be as big as any. Bottom half of the sixth, one out. Got a runner in scoring position to tie this thing up. 33 knows from the moments he's been in in his game career. It takes one swing to change a ball game. He'll have two on and Lane Magaha in front of him. 
Now Evans giving me the look. Maybe that's the change of luck. Come on, Evan. 33's been as big as ever on the mound this season for the Canes. Looking to be big in the box here. Nothing, nothing, one out with two on. First pitch, and there for strike one, and I'll speed away. Twenty four comes set. And Allen slaps down. one in it's the down. left. It's That's down. gonna get down. The Canes will hold up at third and bases loaded now with one out. And Connor Johnson. Cancel now we're going courtesy. Yep. Yeah, they're, they're going to enter. That, so that is Carson Bryant now coming in. T1 playing them cards right now. <laughs> Doing it all today. One out here. Connor Johnson, righty on lefty. If I'm not wrong. I think 27 has struck out twice today. So do here in the sixth. Got speed at second. Magaha goes away with a fastball, ball one. Would like to see 24 have some control issues with one out. 4-3 <laughs> ball game. Delivery comes inside for strike one. We'll even it up. Come on, Connor. See the ball up and drive one. Doesn't take much here just to tie the ball game up. 1-1 one, one delivery. That'll do Johnson it. Johnson puts do it, it in a hole. That'll score one. Will the Canes send them? No, they won't. But tie ball game in Piedmont with one out. 4-4. Four, four, an authorized eating, eating an air base knock from Connor Johnson. Nice job there by CJ. Again, I think you mentioned it. And had some had some rough ABs to start off with. And, uh, boy, that's a huge hit. Ties this ball game up. Now you got the winner run at third. And uh, or the go-ahead run at third, I guess you could say, and speed at second. So again, we're we're hitting the ball right at them. We need to hit it to the left or to the right. I'm no, I'm not asking for much. Just to the left or the right. Don't hit it right at them. And two guys with really hot bats in their hand, and Bolton Pritchard and Max Whitfield. One out. Pritchard puts one in the center. Center fielder fading to his right. Canes will tag. Throw home is not in time. The Canes have the lead here in the sixth. No, they don't either. Oh, they're going to say he tagged too early. Run does count. Run does count. So my loud Canes take the lead still counts as they'll have the lead 5-4. But we'll head to the seventh as the Canes got to close it out here at home. Let's play some D. For lumber now hiring Pittsburgh area manager trainees apply today and receive an $840 signing bonus
Well, how about it? Top of the seventh, the Canes have a chance to take game one over the Bears. The man that's been on the rubber all night long, they'll let him tow it one more time in Jacob Allen here in the seventh inning, but this time with a 5-4 lead. And up first for the Bears will be Landon Davis. As Allen will get us started off here with a fastball low for ball one. Comes back with a fastball, even it up. Davis Kelly Babb, the three up for BHP. One one. Goes fastball, gets it on the bottom half, one, two. Gains three outs away from a big time region win. Here at home, fighting back, getting two runs on the sixth. Gets him to swing through it. Johnson catches it off the glove. Founder strikeout number one here first in out, the seventh. First out's huge, Blake. First out's huge. They say it's the biggest one. Right fielder, Ty Kelly. Ty Kelly. That's a, that's a great play by Connor Johnson there. That's, uh, that's not very easy, I can tell you that. That one's off the mound. It's going to give a chance for Austin to show off the range. Throw over for out number two. Grayson Austin making it look effortless, maybe with some help. Off the pitcher's mound there. It's finally, something went our way. <laughs> right into the glove. And now the Canes one out away here at home. Come on, two outs. Make the play. Get dirty. A chance to give the Bears their second reason loss. Fastball in the dirt. one -oh, two outs. Canes lead 5-4. Allen goes fastball one and one. One one delivery from 16 goes off speed, big pitch, one and two, one pitch away. Looking for the complete game win. 16 into the windup. Ospi, oh. big time pitch, soared for 16. The Kings oh, win 5-4. Big time win here at home. Wow, that's big time there. Coming back in the uh, bottom half of the six. Well, that's huge, Blake. That's huge. That gets us in a good spot. Go to four and three now. And uh, let's check a score real quick before we go. I know y'all in a hurry to get off of this air. We paying for it or not? Palmetto's currently losing nine to nothing. We need to kind of watch that. So four and three, of the Hurricanes. It looks like the uh, Palmetto Mustangs are going to fall to two and five, and uh, Fountain Inn. Uh, BHP will also fall to five and two. So if yeah. you can sneak a win on the road, you can tie these things back up, take over the two seed. But a big time win nonetheless. And, of course, thank you to Austin on the one to twos, Ethan Mayfield in the away camera section, and David Thompson on color. Always a good day to have a day. Canes win 5-4. Always a good day to beat a bear. <laughs> Canes win here at home on the Ren Broadcast Network.